Hi and welcome to Percentages Original Value Problems. Um, just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. And so we're going to look at some non-calculated questions to begin with. Um, so we're told that a watch costs £72 including 20% VAT. How much is the watch without VAT? So what we've got here is I've set up um, some little blocks for us to fill in as we go through the question. And each time the first section should be about percentages and the second section about the actual value. And so in this case we know that we have spent £72. And so that is the value. But what percentage are we dealing with? Well this here is a 20% increase. And so if there's been a 20% increase, that means we started with 100 and we added 20 on. And so we are actually dealing with 120%. Now I'm going to do a little skip. I'm going to jump down to the very bottom because the idea of this is that we want to find the original value, the value before that VAT was added on. And so that would be 100% of the value. Now the reason I've done that is that that is actually the case every time. We want to return to 100% at the end. And so what we need to do in between is just think about how we could get there in a couple of steps. And so for this case, what I would be suggesting is we want to just take things in nice small steps. So let's try to get to 10%. If I have 120% and I want to get to 10%, well, I can divide by 12. Now, because I've done that with the value, I all, uh, sorry, with the percentage, I also need to do that with the value. And so I'm going to take the 72 pounds and divide that by 12. And if I do 72 divided by 12, I get six. And so 10% of the value would have been six. How do I turn 10% into 100? Well, that, I just multiply by 10 and so I need to do the same with the value 6 pounds times 10 well that would be 60 pounds and so what it's telling me is the co uh, watch would originally cost 60 pounds but we've had to pay 20% extra and that makes it 72 pounds let's try it again for a TV this one costs 600 pounds in a 25% off sale what is the normal cost of the TV? Well, again, we want to begin with percentages and values. And in this case, this is a 25% off sale. So we began at 100% uh, and we took 25% off. Therefore, in this case, I have 75% of the original value. And that is worth £600. Now in this case, what am I going to do in order to get to 100 at the end? Well, I want to just do this in small stages and with nice simple calculations. And so a value, which will work quite nicely here, will be 25%. How have I turned 75% into 25%? Well, I've divided by three. And therefore, on the value, I will also need to divide by three. 600 divided by 3 is 200 pounds and so then finally to turn 25 percent into 100 percent well that would be times 4 and so i'm going to do the same with the value 200 times 4 is 800 pounds and so that tv originally cost 800 pounds when you take the 25 percent off we get to 600 pounds and finally, a special bag of popcorn has 10% extra free. It weighs 220 grams. How much does a normal bag weigh? Well, again, if we start percentage and value. So in this case, we know that the value is 220 grams. But what percentage are we dealing with? Well, this is 10% extra. So we started with 100%. We've added 10% on. So now we have 110 percent how am i going to uh, make this into a hundred well in this case the easiest way once again will be to get this down to ten percent and so that would be 
divide by 11. That means I also need to do that with the value. So I need to divide 220 by 11. And that leaves me with 20. And so how do I turn 10% into 100? Well, I multiply by 10. So I do the same with the value. 20 times 10 would leave me with 200 grams. So a normal bag of popcorn has 200 grams. This special bag has an extra 10% taking it to 220 grams. So next we're going to look at some calculator uh, questions. Um, and we have a painting increases in value by 23%. It is now worth £2,952. How much did it originally cost? Well, in this case, what I want to be thinking about is once again, just the little bar method. We started out with 100% of the value, and 100% of the value was two, uh, sorry, uh, was the original value, but we have added on 23%. And so, in total, what we are dealing with now is 123%, and that is worth £2,952. But what we want to do is we want to go back to 100%. And so in this case, unlike in uh, previous methods, if you've seen the video on uh, finding percentage increase and decrease, we had a multiplier. Well, in this case, because we are going backwards, we need to reverse that operation. And therefore, this one is actually a division. And so we have 2952 divided by our multiplier, 123%. Well, that would be 123 over 100. If I place that into a calculator, I get 2952 divided by 123 over 100. And I press equals and I get an answer of 2,400 pounds. And so the original value of that painting was £2,400. When we added 23% on, we ended up at 2952 The value of a car depreciates by 11% and is now worth £3,115. How much was it before? Well, again, we start with our 100%. This is the original value of that car. But this time it has depreciated. Depreciate means to, um, to decrease. And so we've taken 11% off. Meaning we're left with 89% of the original value. Now 89% is worth £3,115. And so it is this value that we need to divide. Again, we are working backwards, and so we want to divide by our multiplier, and 89%, well, that would be 0 0.89, or 89 over 100, and we can type either of those into our calculator and get the correct answer. So 3115 divided by 0 0.89, if I press equals, comes out to a nice round 3,500 and so the original cost of that car was actually 3,500 pounds and finally an old mobile phone sells at a 72% loss for 117 pounds 60 how much was it originally bought for well again a hundred percent is what we are looking for but what we have done is we have lost 72% and so what is left? If I lose 72%, I'm left with only 28%. And that 28% is £117.60. And so now I need to take the new value and divide it by the multiplier. So in this case, 0 0.28. And if I do that, again, on my calculator, 117. 0 0.60 divided by 0 0.28 I get 420 pounds and so you can see there 
This is a very big loss, 72%. It's nearly three quarters of the price uh, being lost. And therefore, £420 was the original price. And we've gone down to just £117.60. And finally, we're just going to look at a slightly different version of this. We aren't looking at percentage increase or decrease. Um, we've just been told a certain percentage of an amount. And so a bag contains red and yellow counters. There are 21 red counters, 70% of the counters are yellow. How many counters are in the bag? Well, in this case, I just want to, again, think about my little bar. Now, the bar is 100%, and that is all of the counters in the bag. It only contains red and yellow counters. 21 of the counters are red, and 70% of the counters are yellow. So if I just draw a line in here, I've got 70% and those 70% are yellow. The others are the reds. So what percentage are red? Well, that is 30%. Do we know any values which relate to any of those percentages? Well, we know there are 21 red counters and therefore this 30% must be worth 21% counters now i want to know how many counters are in the bag in total and so what i need to do is find my way back to a hundred percent now there are a couple of ways to do this if i wanted to do this without a calculator i could think of it in just the same way as we did before i know that 30 percent is the same as 21 counters and so if i break down i could go to 10 percent by dividing by three and so I'll do the same here. And then in order to get 100%, I would want to multiply by 10. And I'll do the same here. And therefore, what it's telling me is that in total, there are 70 counters in that bag. 21 of them are red and the remainder are yellow. So that would be an extra 49 that were yellow. A shop sells mobile phones in one week they have only 12 left which is 15% of their stock how many phones have they sold well again let's just draw ourselves a little bar we have only 15% left and those 15% um, well that leaves us with 85% that we sold now in this case 15% we know that that is the 12 that were left over and so 15% must represent 12, um, 12 uh, phones now again if 12 uh, if 15% is 12 phones well in this case what I'm actually looking for is how many have they sold and so what I want to do here is reach a point where I have 85% at the end because that is what is left over and so all I want to do here is I'm going to take it down to 5% as it's something which will work to build up in stages so 15 to 5 I've divided by 3 so I'm going to do the same here 12 divided by 3 is 4 how do I turn 5 into 85 now that's a little bit more complicated that's actually multiplying by 17 and so I'll do the same over here 4 times 17, that's going to be 68. And so what you can see here, there are 68 that were sold. If you wanted to know how many there were in total, well, that would have been 80. And lastly, 40% of the adults at a meeting are men. There are 24 women at the meeting. How many adults are at the meeting? Again, let's draw ourselves a little bar just to fill in all of the information that we know. So we know 40% of the people are men. That means the rest must be women, giving us 60% who are women. We are told that 24 women are at the meeting and therefore this section must be worth 24. So 60% is 24. What we are asked is how many adults and therefore what we want is the original 100%.
And so let's do this one if we were doing it on a calculator. We know that 24 people represent 60%. And therefore, I'm going to divide by 60%, which is 60 over 100, or 0 0.6. And I'm just going to type that into my calculator. 24 divided by 60 over 100. And that gives me 40. There were 40 people at the meeting. And so we end with the exam question. It came from the Edexcel paper in November 2017 and it was foundation paper one. Now importantly there, paper one means this is non-calculator, so we're going to have to use, uh, do this without a calculator. Um, so in a sale, the normal price of a book is reduced by 30%. The sale price of the book is £2.80. Uh, Work out the normal price of the book. So as it's non-calculator, I want to be thinking about taking three little stages to get to my answer. I want the percentage and I want the value and I want to just fill in those boxes. So this has been reduced by 30%. So I started with 100%, I've taken 30% off, so I'm left with 70%. So I have 70% is £2.80. Now I need to eventually get to 100%. And so what steps am I going to take? Well, in this case, the easiest way to go about it would be to go down to 10%. I'm going to divide by seven. But I need to do that with the value as well. So £2.80 divided by seven. Well, let's just do a little division. How many sevens go into two? Zero, with two left over. How many sevens go into 28? It is four. And how many sevens go into zero? Zero. So that is 40 pence. And then, how do I turn 10% um, into 100%? Well, I need to multiply by 10. So I'm going to do the same with the value. So 40p times 10, well, that is four pounds. And so the original cost of that book was four pounds.